everyone. How's it going? It's Candace and Carl. We just thought we'd do a live up update. Yep. And it's we're been a, a while. It's been a while. And we we're so busy. It's so crazy. Get yeah. on the road and, yeah. We're in a different spot today because yeah. the studio is under construction. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> sort uh, of. <laughs> we had to... Had to get a new furnace, so they're down there. You'll hear bumping and banging and drilling and all that kind of stuff in the background because uh, yep. getting a new furnace and new air conditioner. We've been here 16 years, so about time. That's one of those purchases that you're just like... Hate to do it. You hate it, <laughs> but you need it. You it's gotta a, have it. It's a need, so... Absolutely. All right. A lot has been happening. Oh, my goodness. Namely... Yeah. I want to hear a little bit about your ministry last weekend because I know you were kind of like, it was, it, it was like no other that I've had in a long time. Yeah, it was overwhelmed. Um, it was abs absolutely crazy because uh, I did a youth conference, then did a men's conference, mm -hmm. and then did the church. And gosh, it was just uh, it, it, literally overwhelming. You can't, you just can't believe the responses from the kids. They were they were fired up as all get out. I had so many of them coming up and talking with me and everything. But you know it's real when the, the following day, the parents are coming up to you. Yeah. And some of the parents were in tears mm -hmm. because they're like, my kids, they came home and they're excited about their faith for the first time. They're excited. Um, mm -hmm. That doesn't happen. So that's that's super encouraging to see kids get excited about their faith. And I had yeah. uh, one you know, like 20-something-year-old boy that just graduated college and and he's in tears crying to me about, you know, this is confirmation. I've got to, I've got to do more. I've got to step up. Mm -hmm. And you're like, wow, overwhelming. And then you do the men's conference and, and uh, this church, man, they're, they're going. It's Calvary yeah. Chapel, Lone Mountain. If you're out in the Las Vegas area, boy, I'll tell you what, those guys are doing it. Uh, their services were packed. And then the men, they had like, I think it was 94, 96 men. Wow. They came out That's for That's crazy. A, yeah. On I mean, a Saturday it, morning. On a Saturday morning. Yeah. And they were in. I mean, just in. They were so... At, engaged uh so many of them coming up to me afterwards mm -hmm. and talking uh then uh, sunday morning services were both packed to the gills and uh they were protests they weren't services <laughs> all right they were protests so we were legal and uh then uh, in the evening uh you know they, when we were talking they're like you know typically we get a really small group that comes back in the evening mm -hmm. Pfft, not that night, man, it was packed to the wow. gills. So Pastor Jacob and Pastor Ben, Pastor Larry, Pastor Chuck, all of those guys, man, big kudos go to them because they they poured themselves into it and they yeah. made it happen. And uh, I, I'm I was just flat overwhelmed to be there and have the privilege of uh, sharing with them. It was it was super good. That's cool. That's so exciting. Yes. And it's, it's one of those where, like, when you're behind the scenes person like myself, you're like, oh, I wish I could just be there and see I what I wish happened. you guys could come out. I really yeah. do. I would, that, but, that's the thing. I wish I could take everybody with me so that they could have these conversations with folks. They could see. Yeah. It's not me just telling you this. That you, you could. Act, so we've actually asked Pastor Jacob if he would right. interview some of the students so that it's not me asking them and trying to beg something from them. Yeah. Hey, did it really have an impact? Was it any good? And hopefully they're going to interview some of the men as yeah, well yeah so um if we get some of that we'll share that with you because it was it was a very special time of ministry i know that yeah so that's just one thing like what we're trying to do now even is just convey to you guys what your support helps us do how the lord is working because of it and so just i guess thank you yeah um and we're going to try to convey it to you guys as best as we possibly can but really carl sharing his heart and what god did is is a great way to see that. So yeah, boy, I tell you, and, and a lot of a lot of things going. on. I mean, Juan's busy as all get mm -hmm. out now, so he's yeah. really going. Frank's schedule. He's yep. coming over here in June, July, right? End of June. Yep, end of June, and is um, has like boom, 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 boom. He's got like maybe six no, it's the end of May. Something? I think it's the end of May. Is it the end of May? He said yeah. he's got like uh, he said he's got like six speaking events lined up now. Yeah, May through whatever. I know yeah. he's through July because he's actually speaking at my home church July fourth, uh, fourth yep. of July. So we got him speaking at my home church here in uh, in uh, Union, Kentucky, Big Bone Baptist. You got to check us out. So uh, so he's got a busy schedule. It's it's really yeah. It's encouraging. Yeah. Like now my schedule's dead. I mean, quite frankly, mm -hmm. I don't I don't travel again for three weeks, which is good 
because uh, I think I told you all last time after after 2020 and after everything from 2019 so busy mm -hmm. to being home and saying, you know what, I don't want to be on the road 236 days again. Yeah. But I still I got to be honest and tell you that my heart is still like uh, I get nervous when I'm not on the road because that's how I know we're surviving yeah. in the ministry. But I also that's what I'm here for is to. Yeah. The video is great. I I understand all. I understand the importance of it. But t for me, my my heart is I got to be out gotta talking be to with people. people. Yeah. So. But the Lord probably knew you needed the rest too because you really hurt your foot again. <laughs> No Thanks. fun getting old. Yeah, I know. This is the and worst so ever. pray for Carl because he is like he's a gimp right now, trying limping around the got the boot. He's got a boot on his <laughs> foot, so you can pray for him. Yeah. It does seem to kind of flare up when God sends you home for a period. That's why I say I so can't So he either home. gives <laughs> you rest or I don't know what it is. Every but... time I'm home, it's like this silly thing acts <laughs> up, and then when it's time to go, it's like okay, here we go. Go. So it's uh, it's pretty that crazy. That itself should show God's provision to you. Oh, it, it really does. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Um, I, I got a couple of prayer requests for you, though, because mm -hmm. big time, uh, Candace and I and Wade just had a big conversation. Uh, there's some interesting things happening because we took this uh, getting blocked thing serious and not being able to market our stuff. We've taken that very serious. And so we are searching for the best way to... And and I've always hated this word market because it's like okay it's like a, that's fake that's like yeah. that's got like a negative connotation to it. But how do we get the message? Be able to reach more people yeah. is really what it is outside of our yeah. borders. And how do we more effectively reach that younger generation? Because that's mm -hmm. that's the heart. And so Wade's had some really big conversation. Candace has been in on some of them as well with yeah. two groups that uh, we believe could help us. And it's mm -hmm. it's a dilemma because. One of them we think could help in one very specific way, then the other could help in another way. And it's like, okay, we definitely can't afford to do both. Yeah. And they don't each do the same thing that the other does. So yeah. it's like, okay, God. We really can't afford to do one of them. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. But, but we feel like we at least need to. You have to. We, we got to look into it. And we got so, yeah, to reach out because it's yeah. just like. But we, I would say pray specifically for Wade. Yeah, um, yeah. Ultimately, he's the one that's probably going to make the decision. And he feels yeah. very burdened and pressured by it. And he wants to be a good steward of God's Absolutely. funds. And Absolutely. he wants to be a good steward of what's going to help the ministry the best. And so that was something he asked for prayer for today. Absolutely. So Absolutely. We do ask you to pray for that. Yeah, pray for that because that's reality. You yeah. know, we... We've never done this. We've mm -hmm. never really went with somebody to help us to do this sort of a thing. Yeah. But they've got all kind of ideas on taking what we've got and making it more effective and how, where to put it, what time to put it, and all that sort of a thing yeah. to have the biggest uh, impact. So yeah. we need wisdom. And that's a good one. Pray for Wade big yeah. time on that one. And maybe we'll just drop a little nugget too. We have a project that we're working on mm -hmm. collectively as a ministry. Yep. And... I don't know how much you want to share about it or yeah. not. Yeah, I, I we're uh, it's all these questions that uh, you know I tell the you camper the camper questions, the camper questions. Yeah, it's all these questions that these kids have been throwing at us over the years. I compiled them all. Well, we what taken... they and the question then is tell them what the question is just oh, as a reminder. The very first one, uh, the very first one that Juan just uh, did the answer on was uh, well, if sin's a suicide, didn't Jesus commit sin because he didn't have to die? He could have mm -hmm. stopped it. So. Did Jesus sin by committing suicide? But these are questions that the kids ask. The kids ask that you're saying, "What's keeping you from selling yeah, out?" Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I'm right? Sorry. What's keeping you from selling that's out? That's what I do. Yeah. For being like a, a follower of Jesus Christ, being yeah. sold out for Him. So, yeah, that's that's day one. Yeah. Hand out index cards. So what's these are the questions from, that come so, as a result of that. Yeah, yeah. I took a picture of the last camp. It was like it was that big of a stack, right? Yeah. So that was one of them. Uh, uh, I think. Uh, Dave, uh, Dave Glander just finished his. Mm -hmm. So this is the whole ministry that's taking uh, taking this on. And Dave Glander did his was on uh, one of the ones that he's doing is uh, uh, my parents are. So it's not really a question, but this is one of the statements yeah. that we got, and we hear this from the kids. My parents are jamming Christianity down my throat. You know, what do I do? What do I do of? about this? Yeah. So Dave took it on. I think he did a really good job with it. I just did one. It's one of the more typical ones that I'll get when you're dealing with apologetics. The days in Genesis are they really days? And the other one I'm dealing with are races. Yeah. You know what, how how do we get so many different races? So there's still some of those typical apologetic questions. Yeah. But there's some others that man, they'll flat challenge you. So yeah. Your yours is uh, dealing with uh, fear. Yeah. So how do you overcome fear? Yeah. Is one of them. 
And also, like, um, I prayed for healing. Why hasn't God healed me? So, there's some very different, like, yeah, I feel like there's those apologetic ones, but then there's like just life ones, life ones, yeah, which, yeah, come up, I think, for everybody in life, whether they're willing to admit it or not. But there are things people think about, absolutely. So, yeah, that's what we're in the process of. Doing that right now, the debunked yeah. DVD TV that we've told you about, it's it's totally done. Yep. It's um, being sent next week to the uh, reproduction place where they're going to print out the DVD. So we'll actually have three DVDs that have all 15 of the uh, debunked, TV. debunked TV episodes yep. on there. And, and they've be been also up. sent to the television BCY. station, BCY, mm-hmm. in Milwaukee. Um, and I don't, do you know when they'll start airing them? I don't know when they'll start airing, okay. but I think they're also going to put them up on. Uh, we got to put that link below for, uh, they've got a Bible, online Bible academy mm. type thing. And they're offering Juan's class now in my class. Yep. And people are taking it. It's free. I mean, yeah. man, you got to take advantage of that. But I, from what, what I understand, they're going to put uh, the Debunk TV up on there as well, okay. if I understand correctly. But as a minimum, you got to go there and watch uh, or, or take the class that I did on yeah. fossils and Juan's on uh, critical thinking. So. Yeah. And again, it's free. They're, we're so we're so encouraged because we filmed those things a while back, and it was like we never had the mechanism to get it out, so a lot of folks could take it. Mm-hmm. So VCY came along and said, "Hey, we got the mechanism, and they're they're putting it out there." That's awesome. Cool. What else? I mean, there's lots of things I could list. Probably like ten more things we could talk about. But well, the the biggie. I think the biggie is just. Uh, what we're doing with this with this outreach, how we more effectively reach people, because yeah. I mean we've got the app, that's, the new app that's being worked on, the new website that's being worked yeah. on. There's there's a the lot of that stuff re-brand- going on. It's not a brand. What did he refreshing. say? Refreshing. We're refreshing. refreshing the brand. Yep, yep, yep. Refreshing the so, reasons for hope. Yeah. So there's there's so much going on behind the scenes right now, and uh, me, I'm working uh, big time on a. I'm refreshing my talk on yeah. uh, races. Mm-hmm. That I really need prayer on because in this time right now, I don't care what you say. Yeah, you're gonna offend somebody. Somebody's gonna get mad at you. Yeah, and so it's like you know what? But I, I don't think we can run and hide from this topic because the Bible is the only one that has the answer to this issue. Yeah, it's true. and so uh, I'm redoing that talk, freshening that thing up because I'm gonna be out in my next trip out. I think it is uh, Nebraska. Gretna, right? Gretna, Nebraska. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm doing that talk. So I got to do that. By the way, one more plug. Get your students, if you got uh, junior, senior high school students mm-hmm. or college students, get them to take the class that Juan and I are doing on Apologetics uh, 101 at Faith Baptist Bible College. Just go to, mm-hmm. Faith, uh, I think it's just fbc.edu, right? Yeah. So fbc.edu or just do a search on Faith Baptist Bible College yep. and then uh, do a search for Jumpstart. And you can see it there. It's a two credit hour class. It's very inexpensive. Um, but come ready to work because one of the thing the things your students going to do is they're going to do some research on an animal because we're taking a tour through the Omaha Zoo, and they're going to have to do a presentation at the zoo. I've been to that zoo. It's beautiful. I've been there. I went there for my birthday one year. It's amazing. We have we were in Iowa yeah. and it was close and. It is a, it thing. is probably one of the top zoos in the world. Pretty. It is really amazing. Yeah. But they're gonna we're gonna lead a tour through there. Awesome. But the kids are gonna be uh, they're gonna be doing some of the presentation as well. It won't just be Carl doing it. So. It's it's real world. It's real world. Cool. All right, everyone. I think that's the update for this week. We covet your prayers. We appreciate Mm -hmm. your support so much. Don't forget to stay bold. Adios.